Breaking, Sheriff David Clark resigns from his post, see why he did it. Sheriff David Clark has just now resigned, says the Chicago Tribune. Milwaukee County Clerk George Christensen said on Thursday that he got a resignation letter from Sheriff David Clark. Here is what Sheriff David Clark about Charlottesville. He supported his response and was one of the very few people to do it. There is no explicitly named reason for David Clark's resignation. His spokeswoman has not immediately responded to telephone messages and emails. Clark rose to national prominence in May after announcing that he'd taken a job at Homeland Security. It was never confirmed. He withdrew his name later. Joining us with Reaction, Salem Radio, nationally syndicated host Larry Elder, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark, Fox News contributor DeRoy Murdoch. Sheriff Clark, we'll start with you. Anything I'm saying here that's wrong? No, it's spot on, Sean. You know, and the liberal media couldn't control themselves. They couldn't resist the opportunity to somehow turn this on President Trump. I was proud of the original statement. He knows, the President, you have to be measured. You have to be calm. You want to calm the waters. You want to be thoughtful in your initial statement because it's early on and you don't have all the facts and you don't want to speak out of hand. Then over the weekend, as he learned more facts, he came out today and, and reiterated what he said in even some more forceful terms. I was proud of the way he handled that. But again, you know, they took this ugly situation. There's no winners in Charlotte, Charlottesville. It was hate versus hate. You had the neo-Nazis. You had uh, Antifa. You had Black Lives Matter clashing. Uh, there's just no winners there. But uh, yeah. every time one of these situations happens, you know, you see the worst of people sometimes. I think we saw it out of the left. Larry Elder, I've known, we've known each other for yeah, going back a couple of decades now. Right. You have taken a lot of heat over a very long successful career <laughs> for pointing out a lot of the things I tried to mention in this monologue. Right. Um, why the double standard? Have you figured it out? I haven't been able to figure it out, but I'll tell you, 1963, I'm 12 years old, Governor George Wallace, a Democrat, stands in front of a school door and defends segregation. Fast forward, Sean, 28 years later, David Duke runs as a Republican, gets zero support from the Congress uh, for his candidacy. The RNC puts out a statement blasting his candidacy. George Herbert Walker Bush called him a racist. Uh, and. Uh, the only time we ever see David Duke again is when the cable news digs him up. The man hasn't been relevant in decades. And the reason for all of this attention, the reason the media is covering this thing like it's a Super Bowl, is because of this narrative that Donald Trump blatantly reached out to white racists to get elected. If that's the case, how is it that he got fewer percentage, less percentage of white voters than Mitt Romney did, a greater percentage of minority voters, blacks, uh, Hispanics, uh, and Asians, than Mitt Romney did? The blacks, Hispanics, and Asians were too stupid to realize they were joining a movement with a bunch of white racists, and the white racists were too stupid to realize they were joining a movement with a bunch of people of color that they don't like? Come on. You know, DeRoy, am I right as I watched this weekend, and I, I just decided, I made a decision, I'm going I'm to watch this, I'm going to absorb this, I took notes all weekend. I saw a media hit a new low, and it's like it happens and they just wanted politically to bludgeon, politically I'm speaking, this president and tie him to this in spite of what he said historically, which they've never played, and in spite of what he, he said earlier this weekend. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, here's a name you may not have heard very much uh, throughout this controversy, James Alex Fields, Jr. He is the neo-Nazi who allegedly, because he's uh, innocent until proven guilty in court, uh, allegedly drove that car, ran into those people, uh, killed a woman named Heather Heyer, uh, a young woman of age 32, and I believe uh, hit another 19 people who were injured, some of them very seriously. Uh, he's the one responsible for this mayhem, and yet the whole weekend it sounded as if uh, Donald Trump were the person driving that car, smacking into those people. Uh, I think he probably could have avoided a lot of this controversy if he'd come out harder earlier on this, but nonetheless, you've seen exactly as you say, Sean, the, the, the media and a lot of uh, enemies of President Trump trying to blame him for all of this rather than putting the blame where it belongs, which is on a neo-Nazi driving a car into a pile of protesters. Mm -hmm. All right, stay right there. More with Sheriff Clark, more Larry Elder.